how to get previous row in Power Query and how the formula works. Okay, you ready? Let's get started. Okay, so here we have Power Query. This is a Northwind data set. And we have a table with category ID, category name, and description. And we want to get the description, a new column with the previous row of the description column. Okay. So I'm going to show you a trick of how you can do that very easy without remembering the actual formula. If you want to get from a table this value, for example, sweet and savory sauces, the only thing you need to do is to right click and drill down and Power Query will produce this line of code for you. And that is actually how you get a previous row with a little bit of modification. I'm going to show you. So first of all, let me copy. And what you see here is the first step is said, remove other columns. It means go to the step that is called remove other columns, which in this case is the previous step, and bring the table to this step. Once you've done that, go to where category ID is two, and give, give me whatever value is on the description column. Okay, so if we go here, it brings this table and say category ID 2, bring whatever it is, and it, this is the value that is in there. So now we have a very good code that we can use to do the previous row. Now, I want to show you something before. If you remove this category ID, you can just reference a row without actually giving a specific position. So you can see, give me the values of, you might think, row two to get exactly the same thing. But if you pick row two, this is what we're basically doing, it gives us something else. Let me show you. So it's giving us the next value. And that is because the index in Power Query starts with, or the row numeration in Power Query starts with row zero, it starts zero, one, two. So it's highly confusing. So to get column, Category ID 2, that means row 2, we have to ask for row 1. That's the way it is. And if we ask row 1, whatever it is in description ID, we're going to get that. Okay? Now, how do we get previous value? I'm going to show you. So we're going to get it in a new column. And then we're going to paste the code that Power Query gave us. They already gave us what we need, more or less. This is what we're going to call previous row. And if we remove again the reference to the column, to the specific row in, in, in a column. So this is saying from a, each row of category ID, give me the value of description. So bring the table from each value, this is here, from each value of category ID, give me whatever is in the description. Now, we want to get previous row. To get previous row here, sweets, we want to get soft drinks. This is row zero, if you remember. Row zero, row, row one. So to get row zero here, we have to do two minus two. If we do two minus two, it will be zero, so it will get us this value. So if I go up here and do minus two, yay, cool, right? So remember, it starts with zero, zero you want to have the zero value. The first one, it gives us an error because there is no previous row. So we can just do if category, wait, remember power query is case sensitive, category ID is equal to one, then null, else, and that is going to get rid of the error. Another way you can do it is you can go and right click on the error and say remove, it, convert to blanks, and, and that will do it, okay? So what if you don't have an index column like we do here? You create one. You go to add column, index column, create the index column, and reference the index column instead. Okay, so hopefully this explains how get previous row works in Power Query. And I'll see you again Wednesday with a new Power BI video. Until then, take care and bye bye.